Hi folks, my name is Roger Williams. I own an engine shop located here in St. Paul, Indiana by the name of Williams Precision Engines. The good folks at E3 Spark Plugs have asked me to answer a few of your questions. And if I pick your question, you get a free set of spark plugs. Um, this month, a gentleman by the name of Matt writes me in and says, When we're out racing on the dirt roundy rounds with a Chevy 355 Vortec Heads 500 lift roller cam with roller rockers and a two barrel, is it better or safer to run a dual timing chains or gear drive? Um, Matt, I'm going to do my best to explain the differences between the different types of drives that are available and uh, what they're used for. Um, there are three basic types of cam drives available for racers today. The chain, the gear, and the belt. The basic old timing chain has been around um, and used by the factory since the invention of the V8 engine, as everybody knows. Today, performance engines uh, used in many different types of competition. Um, and it's important to have a choice of different kinds of drives for different kinds of applications. And it gives the engine builder something to choose from so he can better build an engine for his customer. Um, most circle track applications, a good old basic double row timing chain is perfect. Works just fine. Um, but I do encourage you that you buy a good quality brand like the Cloy's uh, double row uh, true setup and or the JPP with a billet uh, gears and the Torrington bearing. Um, both are very fine units and get the job fine, done just great. Um, a sprint car like you see in the World of Outlaws or the USAC, they have a more demanding um, chore on their camshaft is the best way to put it. They drive, uh, not only do they drive the lifters up and down, but they also have to drive uh, an oil pump a dry sump oil pump off the front of the camshaft and they drive a uh, fuel pump and a power steering pump off the back of the camshaft. Uh, as you can imagine that's an incredible amount of load and, a time, and it overdoes what a timing chain is really designed to do. It just puts too much stretch on a chain. Uh, that's when a gear drive becomes um, the, the most useful. There's several different kinds of gear drives out there also and I'm going to warn you right off the bat I, I'm not fond of the ones with the um, floating idler gears. I've had too many issues with those in the past. They're not really suited for anything in my opinion. Good gear drive will have a fixed uh, idler gear and uh, your timing will stay steady and uh, work great. A gear drive does uh, pull power out of a motor though. It takes more power to drive a gear drive than it does a, a timing chain. At least that's what I've always been told and that's my beliefs. Um, there's probably somebody out there who will question me on that one. But uh, my opinion is, is that they rob a little bit of power and not necessary in most applications unless you got excessive load on the system. The third type of um, uh, drive is the belt drive. Belt drives are used uh, primarily in upper end caliber cars like NASCAR, um, all your pro stock drag racing, um, all those guys use them. It's best suited to control harmonics. Um, we have some bracket racers that we use belt drives for. Uh, uh, drag racers and uh, bracket racers, uh, they're terribly hard on timing chains because of uh, what my opinion is, is the two-step. They, uh, they push a button and they stomp the throttle to the floor and the engine comes up to a rev limiter and holds it there before they launch and and it just shakes the bejeebies out of the engine and we've had issues where they break the links on the timing chains um, the belt drive has solved that if you use a belt drive uh, like a Jessel or a Comp or there's several brands now uh, uh, that that solves the issue of breaking timing chains and they work flawlessly uh, well, I hope that answers a few of your questions out there and uh, spread some light on the subject until next time, get your questions sent in to me so I've got something to pick through and um, I'll do my best to answer all of them I can via email and pick one out to, to receive a free set of spark plugs next month. Until next time, happy motor and get yourself out from behind that computer and go work on your heart.